Hello, everyone. It's Hi. cold today. It's really cold because guess what? We're not in Africa anymore. <laughs> We're in Chilly Willy, Pennsylvania. Hi, everyone. We're really happy to greet you from home. We are home. Jasmine. We greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's so great if that we are here in the States. For real. I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. It feels like a dream. Yeah. This is March 3rd. And we got home the morning of February 17th. So we've been here, what, three weeks? Two weeks. One and some days. We'll finish a week It should tomorrow. be two. This is Friday. Yeah. So two weeks from ago today, I think. Yeah. So yeah. And it's been just a really, really good time. Um, spending time with family and... Meeting everyone from my For the first family. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're just nice people. <laughs> it's so crazy because <clears throat> I left... In 2019, when I was single, I mean, we were in a relationship, but I went back to Malawi and I didn't, I figured we would get engaged, but I had no idea I would spend the next three and a half years there and we would get married and have a baby before I came back home again. Our things like And uh, yeah, here we are. So yeah, I just want to give an update on whatever we have been going through to reach this moment that we are here yeah we started our program like filing all the documents in 2021 august right for your visa yeah we started we applied in august 2021 yeah and everything went well we thank god for that and After. we qualified that I should go for the interviews. Uh, I, I was nervous because... <laughs> that was the last thing we were waiting to hear is when his interview date would be, you know. So we finally heard that it was February 6th. Yeah, yeah. So we were preparing everything that we would bring to that. Preparing the answer of all the questions that people post on youtube being yeah. the friend to youtube and we hearing <laughs> all the questions all things that you don't need to do things right. that you need to do so <laughs> we tried to research as much as we could to see other people's experience in the interview and yeah we did the, mock interviews together yeah the day <laughs> came there's, there's a problem, they are not handling interviews anymore. Yeah, we arrived there for our for the interview on the day, and they were like, we're not doing interviews today. It's like, what? <laughs> our interview is scheduled for today. But yeah, we weren't so... the only ones with that problem. So they just sent us away and said they would contact us when we could come for the interview. Yeah, and they, they scheduled our interview date the next day mm -hmm. the next morning the next morning so we are on the way going back home and when they called us we're like ah let's just go back and spend the night there and wait for the interview so uh, it worked out mm -hmm. it was I'm, such a great moment i'm glad we didn't have to wait a lot longer for the interview yeah so we went in and i had to wait outside with jetty while he went into the interview, I was like, oh my goodness, but Jetty kept me busy. <laughs> so he went yeah, in and... It was good. It was good. The, the interviewer... What did she ask you? She just asked me three questions and she was done. Only three? Oh, only three. I prepared for more than ten questions. But <laughs> I was just asking for three questions. Mm -hmm. The first question was like, okay how did you meet with your wife and i explained all that mm -hmm. and the second question was like okay can you 
explain about her family. So I explained her siblings, parents, what they do, all of that. And the second, the third question was like, okay, what is your address when you get there? Mm. So where we'll be living? Yes, where we'll be living. So I already had all well explained and detailed answers for all those questions. So after the last question, the third question, she was like, okay, your visa is approved. I was like, what? Yeah. You the words like, we've been waiting to hear. And she was like, wow, I love your pictures. Your wedding pictures are so pretty and beautiful. <laughs> At the lake, all that. I was like, wow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sounds like she was super friendly. Yeah, she was. S such a blessing how God she worked was. it all out. And she... I was really confident, according to how she approached me with all the questions that built mm. me a very good yeah, confidence. Good confidence. Yeah. yeah, so she said, yeah, I'll keep your passport and I'll call you when your visa be ready. So guess what? <laughs> so guess what? <laughs> yeah, I was called like... Less than two hours to go and get my passport I that know. the visa is ready. For we you. were we were told to expect it to take up to a week for the visa to be you know ready to be printed in his passport, and it was ready a couple hours later. So got yeah, approved so and got the visa in the same day, which was we didn't awesome. Wait for a long time when we when we got my visa, mm -hmm. we planned to move to the states and yeah we tried to put everything together trying mm -hmm. to move my family to a place where we own our land and it worked out mm -hmm. sure and we plan to fly to the states yeah i think we shared before that we bought um some land in our first year of marriage and we've been slowly kind of fixing up the house on the land and so we were able to move his mom and siblings and their kids um to stay um in that house and so that all worked out we were able to get that done before we left and we said our goodbyes and um yeah we left on the 16th arrived the morning of the 17th in Washington, Dulles, and my family picked us up from the airport. Jetty did really good on the flight, all things considering. We had two flights, and both flights stopped over somewhere to, like, refuel. So it wasn't bad. I was happy to only be on two planes. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, but it was good. And, uh, and they kept one seat between us yeah well, both empty. flights we had an empty seat between me and him so that was good for jetty to i could Pray. put him down yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not hold him for the entire time so yeah so it was really good we are here mm -hmm. we're here we're staying far with... from my family but i have my family here how do you feel being here how have you felt what are some um, things that have really shocked you or surprised you or it wasn't the way you expected? Yeah, I didn't have a picture of how life will be here, you know, the place where I didn't know. So I was happy to move to the States with my family for my wife to meet with the her family, she missed her family for more than three years. So I was happy for her to meet all her parents and relatives and friends. So that at least made me feel better to leave my family and country. Mm. Yeah, when I got here, yeah, it's overwhelming, I would say. <laughs> Why? Because, you know, it's indoor life. You just live in your house. It's, if you want to go out, you just go to that specific thing. And after that, you come back home. 
you know it's completely different life in yeah. in malawi we live outside we work outside you we, just sleep inside we meet yes we you cook outside yeah, yeah. we gather with everyone we yeah. chat outside you know all that yeah mo like 90 percent of life is lived outside of your house in in malawi which is completely different here especially because <laughs> like, it's cold right now when it's warmer mm -hmm. we do things more outside, okay kind of <laughs> but most yeah, of the time this is my we're still experience. inside like, yeah yeah today this is almost <laughs> 12 but we are yeah, but left just, the house. <laughs> we just woke up and we just we just <laughs> moving Eating around, and you know. So, yeah, but I'm happy with the everything. Like, yeah, different visiting different places. You know, it's easier to go to the shop, to the store, and get what you need. You know, in Malawi, we kind of have like two hours driving. 40 minutes driving to go to the store and get our groceries. That's a really big you know, difference that I appreciate. <laughs> yeah, life is completely different. Mm. Life is completely I'm so thank you for that we are here. What's one thing that has shocked you? One moment where you've been like <gasps> Yeah. Mm, I would say like You can say anything. Feel free. Uh, I saw women putting on pants, which is not what we do in Malawi. Not putting on, wearing. Okay, yeah, wearing, wearing <laughs> pants, which we call trousers. In, yeah, you say the, trousers. We call them trousers in Pants in Malawi, in Malawi is underwear. underwear. <laughs> so, yeah. We say pants. <laughs> I saw women wearing pants in the church. At church, okay. Which is something that uh, was new. You never see in Malawi. No. Women don't wear pants to church. No. <laughs> they put on dress, um, rub skates, and mm -hmm. all that thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's how I feel being in the States. I'm happy. I would say I'm just excited with the, her family. They are all nice people. You like my family? Uh, that makes me feel at home. Love to being around them. You know, like her dad is just always there for me. You know, teaching me things, explaining how things work. I just love how he's been there for me and trying to teach me how things are supposed to be done here in, in the states so mm -hmm. i'm so thank you for for him i i love i love him yeah he's been a great father and teacher for for me yeah and um i would say in general the family is just perfect <laughs> <laughs> it's just perfect <laughs> it's just perfect so i'm just uh, happy for for everyone and they're really happy with you yeah I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and another thing, we are so thankful and grateful for all you our supporters, supporting us. I believe you have been with us, all what we have been going through for this process of my visa and getting here. You have been supporting us in prayers, financially. You know, we just feel like in our ministry, we're not alone. We have people that are there for us. Mm -hmm. And we don't feel like it's just about us. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever we're doing, we know that the people are there for us to support us and to encourage us. So we're just happy for whatever we're doing. And that's why we feel like we should have this time that we can share with you what has been happening and what is our plan and mm -hmm. all that thing so that we should keep in a track and we we visited my mom at her work the other day she works at abwe um association of baptist worldwide evangelism i think that's what it stands for <laughs> i don't know what it is. um but she works there and so we got to 
walk around the building and see her her work and we met all her uh, co-workers and they were just like so happy to meet us because they've been following along with our journey and my mom has been updating them with everything since like even we got married and since Jetty was born and you know um, about his visa process and every step that we've taken she's been updating them and so it was just so cool to meet them face to face and to hear that from them and how they've been praying for us and it was just like wow now we're here face to face like mm -hmm. it's so cool so it's been really good and we've been meeting up with different people and friends and um, that's been really awesome really amazing to just connect with people again it's been years, you know, and I feel like last time I was here, I was, you know, at such a different place in life. And so it's been really, really a blessing to have people meet my family and catch up with them. And yeah, it's been really good. It's just a, been a really good time of rest, you know, resting, which is also hard because <laughs> mm -hmm. we're used to being busy, used to having work that needs to be done. And so we have to kind of remind ourselves that we're in a season of rest right now and that's okay. And that's good, you know? Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Well, we are really happy for that. Um, as you know, life is different. Like living in Africa in Malawi, life was simple, like, you know, easy life, I would say. But now we are here and we kind of, yeah, thinking of raising more support for us to live life here. Mm -hmm. And the, that's what has been in our mind, like, okay. We have this much, but we live here, we need more. Yeah, we're really praying that God would raise up more supporters for us because our budget is raised almost double what um, we were getting in Malawi and what our needs were in Malawi. The US dollar goes a long way there, so we were able to live life a bit cheaper, but in the States, especially with inflation and everything the past couple of years, um, our expenses are a lot more than what they were in Malawi. And uh, so, yeah, we're asking you to pray with us um, that God would raise up supporters. And um, if you're interested, you can contact us. We can um, help you set that up. Um, whatever God is leading you to do, if you want to join with us in ministry, um, supporting us, that would be such a blessing. That would be an answer to our prayers. Um, yeah, we need, <laughs> we need more support. Pray with us for, um, committed monthly supporters to join our ministry. We're still with Dean Missions. Yeah. We are just taking our vacation days, our deputation days. And, um, yeah, we're looking to head back down to Florida. Um, we're going to spend a few days in North Carolina at a place called The Haven. It's like a missionary care center. And so Teen Missions is blessing us with um, a stay there. And that'll be really nice. Um, he's sitting up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we yeah. are planning to go there, I think the beginning of April. Yeah, it should be the beginning of April. Yeah, we are both excited that the, we should be there. It's, we're heading into busy time, preparation for the boot camp and all that thing. And we are happy. It's my first time to be there and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to join hands with everyone that's there and continue doing the ministry yeah we are still here in pennsylvania until the beginning of april so yeah anyone that wants to meet with us and ask more questions and hear more information 
We yeah. would love to meet with you. Yeah. We would love to meet with you and have that time and answer all your questions. And yeah, you're just free. Yeah, please send me a message. We can schedule a time to have dinner or just meet up or whatever. Have dinner. And um, we can share with you about our ministry and what God's doing, what he was doing in Malawi yeah. and everything like that. So if you're yeah. interested, please reach out to us and yeah. let's meet up. Let's connect. We're here until like the end of March, like literally the 31st. So then we'll head down to Florida, stop in North Carolina for a few days. And uh, yeah. <gasps> yes. Can you say hi? <laughs> Daddy is loving being in the States. He loves grandma and grandpa and all his aunts and uncles and cousins. Yep. And playing with all his toys. Mm -hmm. My honey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just that's say, yeah. that's yeah. about it. We would love to talk more and share more with you face to face or even a video call. If you want to connect through a video call, we'd love to do that with you. So please contact us, message me. My new phone number is 223-271-6134. Can I say it again? 223-271-6134. Yes, that's that is my new phone number. So hit me up. Yeah, thank you so much for having time watching our videos. Mm -hmm. God bless you all, and we'll see you very soon. Keep you say, updated. Say bye, Jenny. Say bye, family. Say bye. Do it. Say bye, Jenny. Say hallelujah. He says, hello. <laughs> la, la, la. Can you say, la, la, la. <laughs> la, 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 la. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.